Hello, this is Bob from Rosewood Music Store. Uh, doing one of my favorite things to do, just showing some really, really cool parts. Uh, what I consider to be a high quality American company, this stuff works. And when you're putting guitars, pickups and guitars for people, there's really only one thing we want. We want them to be happy and we want the doggone things to just keep working. And these do. And you can talk about whether you like the tone or not, because that's a personal thing. But these are first rate made. They have excellent parts. They give you everything you need to put it together. Whenever I put EMGs in a guitar, I think, okay, the nut might have a problem, the bridge might have a problem, the neck might have a problem, but I know the electronics are gonna work and they're gonna consistently work. And if they don't, I can fix them easily and cheaply. The other thing is, as highfalutin as EMG pickups are, that's what we're looking at here, EMG pickups. Most of them have a little EMG on them. Uh, as highfalutin as they are, they're no more money than a good quality Duncan, Lalar, they're a lot less than Lalar, you know, DiMarzio, Fralin. They're just not a lot of extra money. But what I've got first is probably the most standard humbucker uh, configuration. It's an EMG 81 which is a bright pickup, usually put in the bridge, and an EMG 85, which is a little mellower. And it's a combination that has made them famous. And I love the bullseye, that's the Zach Wilde thing. And of course, it kind of changes in the light, which is cool. And this is some kind of a carbon or steel. Uh, has a very futuristic look. I think EMG really took a page out of Apple Computer's book and decided to make their products look really sexy and package them really well. These are cool pickups. Now, if you call Musician's Friend or Sweetwater to buy these, they're gonna be somewhere around two and a quarter, 230. But uh, I buy them for the same price they do, and I can always undercut them, throw in a free install. I mean, they, they jack the prices up pretty good there on these items. Well worth it. If you like the bullseye, it really goes with black, maybe white. Ah, it just depends what color. But that's a cool feature. And of course, as I said, it comes with all your pots, all your switches, a nice switchcraft jack, their own connectors, which are solderless, which can be complex at times, but uh, not that bad. Any installation guy's going to give you a break on, on time. These are much easier to put together than just being given a bunch of wire you have to solder. I just love them and haven't had a problem with them. You do have to remember they're battery operated, so you need room for a battery. Batteries last a long time, and uh, they're dead quiet. You know, you, you go to some club and then they plug you into the refrigerator line on the outlets and you get hum, fluorescent lights, these don't. So they have lots of output. They'll drive your chain of pedals. They'll drive your tube amp wild. Uh, and they're also very, very quiet. Now, if you don't want the bullseye, you can get the same pickups, 81 and 85, for much less. I saw that uh, Musician's Friend were selling these two with all the hardware for $199. And again, I, I can't quote prices on the internet. I'm not allowed to yet. Uh, but I can do better than that. Okay. Here's something that I'm really, really interested in. And these are the James, is it Hetrick? I always forget his last name, uh, designed. And what they did for him was, they went back to the pole pieces, but the pole pieces are different. In the neck model, the pole pieces are ceramic. And this has a brighter resident frequency. It's a brighter pickup in the neck. And they mellowed out the bridge by using steel pole pieces. And I think, I think the thinking there is, we've probably all had guitars where the neck pickup was so muddy, you couldn't get much articulation, and the back pickup was so bright, you couldn't use it for middle of the road stuff. So here, uh, James got them to design this for that specific purposes. Ton of output, has this carbon, carbonized steel, it makes it look like graphite. Really beautiful. Now the spacing's interesting. Diameter to diameter, it's slightly under two inches. So it really is set for a, a, an Epiphone Les Paul or a Gibson Les Paul. I'm not sure these will work real easily on a Strat guitar, which generally have a, what, a bigger space, a wider spacing. 
I'll have to check into that more. But if you have a PRS, if you have a Gibson SG or a Les Paul, these are worth looking into. Interesting thing on these is this four little bolts that are holding on to something. See, what I can't figure out from the ad is, are these ceramic pieces magnetized? Or are they just pull pieces for a bar magnet on the back? The wording almost made it sound like this was magnetized pole pieces sitting in a bobbin, which is pretty amazing. But anyway, there's those James Hetrick uh, pair, and those things go for $239. Uh, and again, I think Sweetwater's pretty high on these prices. So's Musician's Friend. Uh, you, could, you could get those installed in the 200 range. But again, look what you get. To bring your guitar in and say, I want all new hardware, new pots, switches, jacks, everything top quality, switchcraft, and new pickups. I mean, that's, that's a lot of stuff. Now, of course, we have the trusted old Alnico single coil, the SA. I've sold cabillions of these things, and I can't even think of one that ever came back. They use an Alnico magnet, which to my ears is a little mellower than the EMG S, which is ceramic. So I've always favored these. And although these come in sets, there's absolutely no worries about mixing and matching. In fact, I'm starting to pull all my parts out of their boxes and just put them in one box, because you can build here. For instance, I've got an Ibanez guitar right now that has humbucker, humbucker, and a single in the middle. And that's very easy to do. I get my five-way EMG switch. I can wire that up. And look how cool this is. You got a bright, just ripping high output neck bridge pickup, a, a mellower neck pickup for doing that humbucker stuff. Then you got this jewel. Crank that up as close to the string as you can get, and you'll be able to play songs like Lenny uh, by Steve Ray Vaughan, that single coil sound. You'll be able to play all on the watchtower with that mellow single coil sound. You can mix and match all kinds of ways. I mean, I can put a EMG Hetrick with a regular. I mean, there's really no laws, and they do all work together. Just absolutely stunning. I know I, I know I gush on about them, but I've never had another product that have given me so little trouble. Now, there's some really, really cool add-ons that are worth mentioning. One of my favorite is the uh, presence control, which I think this is. Yep, SBC presence control. You can look at this as a boost switch. It boosts the output of the pickup, but only in the mid-range. It was designed to take this little single coil here, which can be kind of thin, and make it sound more like a humbucker. And I gotta say, I think it does a pretty good job. If I'm playing chords and I want that thin sound, that's great, but if I have to play a clean lead, I'm going to crank my SPC control way up and it's going to get fat. So three single coils and an SPC is always a good idea. Now there's another product I got that I'm just dying to try out because I just learned something about it. This is called the Afterburner. This is a device that you hook up last in the single chain. It will add it takes up a, a spot on your knobs. You have to drill a hole or find a place for it. And it'll actually give you 20 dB boost. And that's a lot of gas. And the best part is this. Look what I just read in their instructions. Both passive and active pickups can be used with the afterburner. That means I can take my Seymour Duncan Antiquities, still my favorite bridge pickup, my Alnico 2 Pro, Seymour Duncan neck pickup, favorite neck pickup. Put them in. I'll be a little frustrated because I don't quite have enough gain. If I put this in line, this this is it's an afterburner. It's just going to make the tube amp I'm playing through scream. But I should retain the tone. So I'm really going to try and do that. I mean, it's going to be a little bit of modifying. I'm going to have to use their pinouts and then strip them back and then do some soldering. But I was just so pleased when I read that. These afterburners, SPC controls, PA2 preamp boosters, those could all be used with passive pickups, with your Gibson pickups, your Freyland pickups, whatever pickups you got. So that will definitely be the next thing on mine. I'm going to get an Antiquities, an Alnico Pro 2, and one of these bad boys, and I'm going to sound like Eric Clapton. That's his tone, you know. If you get his pickups from, from Fender, you are getting some extremely electronically 
produced high output and you can plug them into the littlest champ 15 and the thing will just howl and I hear it now that I'm trying to play some of his music he's just overdriving the tar on those tube amps that's the key well, EMGs are good for that because they have a lot of output and uh, four and a half volts full tax drum. They come in different brightnesses and shapes and materials. Um, and of course they have the sets that I've already showed you. You can get a pick guard. I have several that are uh, humbuck to single coil already put together. It drops right into your Squire Strat, Mexa Strat or American Strat. Uh, you click together a couple wires and you're in. Um, and I've got sets already mounted of three single coils on a pick guard. Now I do have three of these used. I'm going to sell with a really nice fender pick guard for $139. That'll be showing up on eBay. And again on these, if you're looking for prices on Zach Wild, Bullseye, James Hetrick, uh, any of the other styles, 81, 85, look them up on Musician's Friend or Sweet Sweetwater and just figure, uh, I'd throw an installation in with that price and probably knock off another 10, 15 percent. My overhead's awful low here. I don't have to make all my money in one sale. So that's uh, the, the EMG suite right there. And something may, may uh, strike your fancy. If you have single coils already, but they sound wimpy, get a presence control. If you got uh, some humbuckers, but you're playing through a tube Marshall and you'd like to be able to kick that Marshall's front end in, think about the afterburner. And uh, you'll be seeing videos of these as I put them in really my favorite dealership it was back in 1984 and i think it's going to become even bigger for me so same people same owners american made american owned i just love it and the foreigners love these things the europeans the asians they want this stuff so when i have used ones around they sell right now this is Bob from Rosewood Music. If you're local, please message me through Facebook and, um, you know, we can hook up and just look at what I've got if you're interested in some of these. Uh, we can check your guitar to see if uh, you're even able to put these in. A lot of times there's no room for these add-ons. I've run into that quite a bit. We just have to see. Um, but I love working with them. I love putting them in. And most of all, I love picking up a guitar with the MGs and plugging it into some high overdrive computer ramp and just screaming. Uh, they're quiet, they're bright, they're articulate, they're really beautiful pickups. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, check out my eBay store. It's uh, ebay.store.com slash Rosewood Music Store. I have a lot of stuff for tellies and strats as well as some other uh, things for Les Pauls. It's growing. I'm, I'm having a lot of trouble keeping up with the... Uh, sales and the listings but i'm gonna try and do better this week thanks to everyone from australia who keeps buying stuff from me you must be a bunch of real rocking people over there buying strats and tellies uh, without a doubt i'm selling more to australia than anyone else and they're just they've all turned out to be really 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 nice people well thanks a lot for watching and uh I'm going to put up another video here real shortly of a, a deal I made at Guitar Center, which I thought was really interesting. So until then, play your guitar, enjoy, and thanks for watching.